Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Both NBA playoff teams make sickening joint pact of what they'll do to Trump after the final game. LeBron James came out today after President Trump officially disinvited the Eagles to the White House and stated that the Cavs and the Warriors are united in their defiance of Trump. No matter who wins this series, no one wants the invite to the White House. Fine. Americans don't want you there and you just seriously hurt both of those teams. You make some kind of sick pact like it even matters. Hope it was worth the pettiness. It won't be Golden State or Cleveland going. And a whole bunch of Americans won't attend your games, to begin with. So, chew on that. We can live without you just fine. You don't like the president, America, her flag, and our warriors. We don't need you. LeBron threw his tantrum before the media after learning that Trump pulled the invite to the Philadelphia Eagles moments before he got to the podium. He said, It's typical of him and I'm not surprised. None of these wealthy players have any respect whatsoever for the presidency unless of course, he's a liberal named Barack Obama. I think as long as he's in the office, the communication and things like that is going to continue to happen. It's a lot of things that we believe in as Americans that we don't feel that he's for. It's a lot of people that believe that he's not for the people or doing things that are not right by the people. No, Trump is the people's president, it's athletes who live in a different reality and have a vastly overinflated view of themselves and their worth that are not right for the people. It is noteworthy that LeBron chose to speak on behalf of his teammates and opponents. That says a lot about where today's NBA players stand. After he was done spewing to the media, Steph Curry took the podium and gushed his wisdom, I agree with Braun. Curry a former two-time league most valuable player, said he and his teammates would likely repeat the stance they took last year should they successfully defend their NBA title. I hope to be in that situation and win two more games where we win a championship and obviously know what comes with that, said Curry. But I think I agree with LeBron. Pretty sure the way we handled things last year, kind of stay consistent with that. When somebody says they don't want to come to the White House, he disinvites them so the photo op don't look bad. We get it at this point said Warriors forward Kevin Durant, who was named the MVP of last year's NBA Finals. It's good that guys are sticking to what they believe in and what they want to do. Like guys said before me, I'm sure whoever wins this series won't be going. I think I am joined by millions of Americans in stating just how disgusted I am by these prima donnas. Take your balls, or lack thereof, and go home. This isn't the first time that LeBron has attacked President Trump either. He called POTUS a bum for criticizing Steph Curry when he didn't immediately accept an invite to 1,600 Pennsylvania going to White House was a great honor until you showed up, LeBron tweeted at Trump. And I'm sure it was an honor to invite talented players until all these petulant overpaid players started throwing fits as well. The Philadelphia Eagles are unable to come to the White House with their full team to be celebrated tomorrow, the statement from the president read. They disagree with their president because he insists that they proudly stand for the national anthem he added, hand on heart, in honor of the great men and women of our military and the people of our country. The Eagles wanted to send a smaller delegation, but the 1,000 fans planning to attend the event deserve better, Trump explained. These fans are still invited to the White House to be a part of a different type of ceremony, one that will honor our great country, pay tribute to the heroes who fight to protect it, and loudly and proudly play the national anthem. I will be there at 3 p.m. with the United States Marine Band and the United States Army Chorus to celebrate America, the statement concluded. Trump tweeted, honoring America. NFL, no escaping to locker rooms. According to the NFL Network, they originally said that the Eagles planned to send a small contingent of players and officials for the celebration since many of the players did not wish to go. But as of this week, less than 10 players were going and that was an insult that President Trump wasn't going to stand for. He'd had enough and I don't blame him in the least. Both James and Curry backed Hillary Clinton for the presidency when she ran against Trump in 2016. Why am I not surprised? Their teams are facing each other in the NBA Finals for the fourth consecutive season and Golden State holds a 2-0 advantage in the best of seven series. Have at it boys, America no longer really cares. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.